The very popular Fixel Detailizer is now available for Premiere Pro. This has been a very popular request, so we're really happy to finally have it available. As with the other Fixel Detailizer products, it is a multi-scale detail enhancer. Uh, think of this sort of like an EQ for your image where you can um, sort of fine tune the amount of detail enhancement that happens at each scale. So you can have your small scale, medium scale, large scale, etc. You can use this, of course, for many, 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 many uh, things. But, you know, I'm going to use this um, movie example here because, uh, as you know, uh, movies tend to really, really go very liberal on the blurring. Uh, and there might be even a contractual thing with these um, famous actors and actresses so that their skin complexion looks smoother or whatever. Uh, so here I am in Premiere Pro. And the way you apply effects in Premiere Pro is you go under the effects menu and it's under video effects and then you're looking for Fixel and then you just drag it on top of your clip. And then once it's on your clip, then you need to go to the effects controls panel up here, uh, select a clip. And then you'll see here um, that it's been added Fixel Detailizer. And as I was just mentioning, there's different scales. So you have very small, small, medium, large, and very large. And then, of course, you have the intensity level and then luminosity mode. Um, so you just start, it starts with uh, it fully turned off. So it's just like, like there's nothing on. And in this case, I'm going to bring up the small detail. And I'm going to bring it up quite a bit. And I don't know if you can appreciate what's happening, but it's almost like I just focused the camera. So I'm going to turn it off and back on so you can appreciate the difference. And what's really cool about this is this algorithm works in such a way that it just feels very natural. It's like it tightens up all of the um, all of the details. So for things like faces and skin tones and hair, the, the small details work best. But for larger items, like let's say, for example, uh, this this really out of focus thing in the back for this, we'll actually use the um, the mask here. So we're going to use a mask, uh, which is actually a cool new feature in the in the more recent versions of Premiere, where you can just basically define the region that you want the effect to take place in. So here now I'm going to turn on the very large detail. So you can see here in the back. Now, notice how it's now only affecting the back here. So the, maybe that was a little too much of the very large detail, but I'm going to so on the medium detail here and the large detail. So of course, I'm not going to get it fully in focus, but you can see here if I turn it on and off how it really makes sort of that background item pop. Um, this is probably not the best thing to, to show that off with, but uh, it, it is a cool way of showing off the, the mask feature. And, you know, in, in the newer versions of Premiere, you can actually track the mask. So, for example, if I was just wanting to enhance, I'm going to go ahead and reset all this here. So, yeah, so if you hit see the little... Um, wrench icon here, you can actually track the mask and you can just make it so that I can, for example, just have it on her face and then uh, I would just track her face and then of course I would just enhance her face. So medium details here work the best, sorry, not medium, uh, small details work the best for her face. And then you can also soften the mask. So now I'm just enhancing her face and nothing else. And then the other important thing to keep in mind when you're using this plugin is you always want to be in full resolution. So now if you're in full resolution, you can still play in real time. So I'm just, uh, I just go ahead and hit the space bar here. So I'm just going to back it up here. So I can just hit the space bar and I'm going to immediately play in real time. So it renders in real time. So there you have it. Um, now I haven't tracked the mask, but you can basically see how it stays sharp in there. So, so there's really no reason not to work in full resolution, but if you're not in full resolution, what will happen is you'll actually get um, a little jump in the, uh, when, the, when the effect is basically processing at full resolution and then goes to half resolution. So just keep this in full resolution and um, you'll be happy. So that's it, Fixel Detailizer 2 for Premiere. And of course, it's also available for After Effects and Photoshop. So check the store for the other versions.